Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm proud to present the Profitech Pro 400. The Pro 400 is an ultra compact heat exchanger espresso machine that's loaded with features and is sure to become one of the best sellers in this category. In this video, I'm going to present all of the features of the Profitech Pro 400, and then I'm going to make some drinks to demonstrate this machine in action. I'm going to make a, a double shot of espresso, I'll make some milk-based drinks, and then I'll also do an Americano. The first thing that we notice when we look at the Pro 400 is how small it really is. This machine is only 9 inches wide, and you should be able to squeeze it in into even the smallest kitchens. The front of the machine is that shiny chrome that we're used to, that mirror finish, but the side, the side panels have this brushed chrome, so it gives you a cool mix. I really think that looks quite good. In addition to that, you'll notice up here on the dials for the uh, steam and the hot water, I have this blue disc. Now, Profitech includes four colors in total, but three different ones from this one. We have like this uh, uh, reddish kind of orange, green, and a yellow, and you can change it to your personal preference or to your decor. The Pro 400 features the very well-known and very well-established E61 group head. It's the most widely used commercial group head in the world. But Profitech does make an aesthetic change to it that I think makes it look a lot better. Up here, this part is what we call the mushroom, and inside there is the flow restrictor. But what Profitech has done, they've done this low-profile, single kind of nut design. Most E61s have a uh, two-nut design, which doesn't look as nice. It's a small improvement, but I really think it adds a lot to the machine. On the bottom left here, we have the pressure gauges. And Profitech has opted to go with a two-in-one gauge to save space. And the way it's divided is into two halves. The top half is the steam boiler pressure that goes from zero to three bars. Normal operating pressure will be roughly one to 1.7 bars in that range right there. It can't go over two because it's dangerous. And the bottom half represents the extraction pressure. And that's only gonna move when the pump is on when we're brewing coffee. That goes from zero to 16 bars. But again, we're gonna be around the nine bar range when we're extracting coffee. Down here we have the drip tray, and the drip tray is a decent size for a small machine like this, and it's easily removable, you just tilt it a little bit. Uh, Profitech does a really cool feature they've been doing for the last couple of years in their machines, and that's this little cutout where you can store your, uh, well you can store any basket, but I put my blind basket inside there, so I remember to back flush anytime I pull out my uh, drip tray. Up here we have the steam and the hot water wands. They're basic wands, you just turn them to open it like that for steam. Same with the hot water on the right hand side. The Pro 400 has a three position temperature switch that allows you to change the temperature on the machine very quickly and very easily. The switch is located just underneath the machine on the right hand side. Position one represents a extraction temperature of approximately 90 degrees Celsius. Position two, 94 degrees Celsius and position three, 98 degrees Celsius. And what that allows you to do is change that temperature to really get the most out of your coffee. If you're brewing a darker roast espresso, you'll probably want to get the water a little cooler, go to position one. And if you're doing a light roast and you want to get a little bit more out of it, you'll go to that position three to get more heat. Also in position three, since this is a heat exchanger, you're going to get more steaming power. So that steaming power is going to be super powerful in position three. This temperature switch system is something that's rather new. We've seen it from some manufacturers now, and I'm really glad that Profitech decided to include it in the Pro 400 because it gives the user a lot more versatility and it still keeps the cost reasonable as opposed to adding a PID to the machine. Another unique feature that the Pro 400 has that we don't often find in machines of this class is a pre-infusion feature. And I don't just mean mechanical pre-infusion of the E61 group. This machine has active pre-infusion and the machine will brew at four bars for five seconds. Then it will pause for three seconds, so turn the pump off, let those grinds saturate, and then it will begin the full extraction with the full pressure of the pump at nine bars. That's something that we just haven't seen in machines like this, and I think it's really cool you can get the most out of your coffee. Now, of course, that pre-infusion feature can be turned on and off, so if you don't want to use it, you can turn it off and use the machine in a traditional way. Up here, we have the cup warming surface. That's passive heat from the boiler. The cups get warm, actually they get quite warm. And underneath here, we have the water tank. The Pro 400, despite being a small machine, features a removable 2.8 liter water tank, which is very cool, and it slides out quite easily. You can just lift it like that, and then put it back into place. If you have the room underneath your cabinets, of course you can do that. Otherwise, you can just fill it from a pitcher, like I do in my house. 
Speaking of infusions, another really cool feature of the Pro 400 is the external OPV adjustment. OPV stands for overpressure valve, and that's just up here. You need a large flathead screwdriver, and you can uh, change your extraction pressure. So if you want it to max out at nine bars, which is what I've done here, you can do that. Or if you want more pressure, uh, you can just adjust that very easily without having to take the machine apart, without having to uh, you know, disassemble anything. All newly made machines from Europe have to have eco mode and the Pro 400 is no exception. So if the machine has not been used for 90 minutes, it's going to turn the heating element off to save energy. And uh, that can be turned off if you don't want to have it. As usual, the first drink that I'm going to make is a double shot of espresso or two espressos. And alongside the Profitech Pro 400, I'm using a Eureka Stark grinder. This is from the Oro series. The Stark has 65 millimeter burrs. Uh, which is a commercial size burr set. That's incredible speed and really great grind quality. Now this is the tamper that comes with the Pro 400. It's, a, it's quite nice actually. It's a, a stainless steel base that's got good weight to it and it comes in the box for free. So as soon as you unpackage your machine, you have the tools necessary to start making coffee. Of course, other than the grinder because a grinder is highly recommended with any espresso machine. So I'm just going to put my portafilter inside here and I'm going to grab a scale. I'm using a white bird scale. I'm going to be aiming for a two to one ratio. So I'm just going to tear this with my cups. And what I mean by that, I had 18 grams of coffee. So I'm going to be aiming for uh, 36 grams out. So I'll just start my timer and begin my extraction. Like I mentioned before, the first five seconds is at four bars and that's our pre-infusion. Pauses for three seconds and then begins the extraction. This is a VST basket I'm using with this machine, so that is an upgrade. Uh, I find that the VST gives more consistent results from, from machine to machine. That I stopped it. I did go a little bit over. I went to, uh, it's 38.4 grams, so I should have stopped it just a little bit earlier, and my time was 35 seconds. So that's pretty good, because I usually recommend 22 to, or 25 to 30 seconds for your extraction, uh, but this had that pre-infusion, that five seconds of pre-infusion and that pause, so I'm comfortable with, with, 35, uh, with 35 seconds for the extraction time. Now let me just give it a taste. I mean, appearance-wise, you can see it's quite nice. And the taste is very good as well. Very sweet, uh, nice kind of brightness. Uh, I really do enjoy it. The second drink that I'm going to make is going to be a cappuccino or a latte. And I've already ground my coffee, uh, teared my scale. Uh, so I'm going to start extracting right now. And while we're doing that, I'm going to start frothing my milk. Because this is a heat exchange machine, so I can do both functions, making espresso and frothing at the same time. The steam tip that this machine comes with is a two-hole tip, uh, but that can be changed if you prefer to have a four-hole tip, will give you a little bit more power. But a two-hole tip, I think, is a good place to start, especially if you're fairly new to making espresso. So that extraction, I went a little bit over. I have 38 grams of coffee, and it took about, uh, about 38 seconds. Then I just add my milk. creating a nice latte that's ready to enjoy. Mm, tastes wonderful as well. Uh, the final drink that I'm going to make is an Americano, and I like to do my Americanos most of the time uh, water first. I'm going to let the boiler refill, so I'll just give it a moment, and I'm going to begin extracting my coffee. I'll stop right there. And there you have a nice Americano with the crema on top because I did water first. A fantastic choice for anyone who's looking for cafe quality drinks at home. And you don't have to worry about giving up an enormous amount of counter space, which we all know is very important. If you have any questions about the Pro 400, about the Eureka Stark Grinder, or any one of our products, please feel free to reach out to idrinkcoffee.com. We're here to help and we're always happy to help. 
Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this about espresso machines, coffee grinders, coffee makers, everything to do with coffee. I thank you for watching and wish you a great day.